This is the circuit that I have on the trainer and all the way to the left there's a string of resistors a 1k and then a 100k that's going to be a variable re resistor then a 100 ohm at the bottom and I'm going to be measuring the voltage at point C. The middle row of resistors are the biasing resistors for the NPN transistor all the way over to the right. And here I've shown the voltages that are going to be applied to the base of that NPN transistor. And I'm going to be measuring the voltage at point C again, the collector of the transistor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the variable resistor to match the voltage at the collector of the NPN transistor. And there is a reason why resistor and transistor are similar in spelling. Okay, this takes quite a while to do, but I adjust this resistor so the voltage reading on this meter matches the voltage reading on this meter, or very close to it which is reading the voltage off of the collector of that transistor. So now what that means is we've got the same setup. We've got 100 ohms, 100 ohms, a resistor and 10K, a transistor and 10K. So all I have to do now is disconnect this, then I change the reading on this meter to ohms and read the ohms of this resistor. That's how I got the information for this demo. This is the first setup and when I read the voltage on the collector of the NPN transistor, it read 11.72. And to get 11.72 on the variable resistor, I had to leave it open. So that means the transistor is open. It is completely turned off with a 0.095 volts on the base of that transistor. Next I connected the base to the 1.037 volt connection and the collector on the transistor read 7.65 volts. So I adjusted the variable resistor accordingly so it would read the same and then measured the ohms between E and C and found that it was 2.1k ohms which means between the emitter and collector of the transistor that means that it is also 2.1k ohms. Here's the last setup with 1.751 volts connected to the base of the transistor. The collector of the transistor read 1.751 one two volts DC 
Again, I adjusted the variable resistor so it read the same and then read the ohms between E and C on the variable resistor and this time it only read 3.5 ohms. So that means between the collector and the emitter of the NPN transistor, it only reads 3.5 ohms. Here are all the results. And what we found out was the transistor is acting as a variable resistor. But instead of turning a knob like you do for a variable resistor, you change the voltage on the base and that changes the resistance between the emitter and collector of a transistor. Thanks for watching.